What's up everyone? This is Cowboy B over here at Wedge Jet Performance. We're going to show you how to do the Elite Rear Exit Exhaust. It comes out on the left side. Everything is the same as all the other rear exit videos. We're going to undo all the bolts from the front to the back so we can only get this piece off here and work with it with the top half off. If you're only doing a rear exit and water box, you don't need to take everything off unless you're doing like a ribbon delete and the air intake then you need to take the whole top off. So we're gonna finish taking this off and get right to the video install. All right, as you see this part, it's really dirty on the inside. We gotta clean this thing out afterwards so the bilge pump doesn't get clogged up or anything. But as in the same rear exit exhaust videos, you can go back and look. You're gonna remove your resonator right here, remove your water box, and we're gonna go straight to the Elite where we have to put it on this side and cut. We'll show you that process with all the other videos are exactly the same except for the outlet install right here so we're just going to do that today and show you that portion so the video is short and sweet if you want to know how to do the whole entire install look at any of the any of the other spark rear exit exhaust installs for wet jet performance i don't think this ski has ever seen any lube or any type of maintenance like that my god you're gonna get it back right Go ahead and clean it out before we do this Elite Exhaust install. All right, we got this hole cleaned up a lot better than it used to be. So let's move on to the water box. You're gonna put the temperature sensor, transfer it from your old water box, put it in here just like you took it out. Wiggle it in there all the way in and then make sure it's hooked on the mount on the right hand side and you're good to go and tighten your eight millimeter clamp and then we'll move on to the exhaust part. All right, once you got all your clamps tightened up for your water box, you're gonna move on to your plug. Make sure you remove the gasket from the OEM resonator and you're going to put it onto your plug like so. And that is your gasket for your plug. And you put that back in and screw this back on hand tight. It's not going anywhere. You don't need a nail back in it. Just make sure you get a tight grip on there and twist it all the way back on. Hold it in place. Spin it on. crank it all the way down make check the seal on the other side make sure it's in place and you'll be good to go if you have an oil filter wrench you can use it to tighten just a little bit more than your hand can but these are buttress thread and they get tighter as you go on so they will not back off due to vibration all right remove your old clamp from the water box and put it onto the fitting to go onto the Evo water box. And get it a little snug and then go ahead and place it on there so it's all the way on and then we'll put the outlet onto there and lift up the back. that's all tight we move on to fitting the mid pipe to the back outlet and then we'll show you how to cut it all right we're back we're about to get the cutting so what you want to do is get your template out you're probably gonna have one like this or the other one that we use for the RXTX but this one is better for the sparks because this outlet is not the same one as the one that goes on the RXTX you know, it looks like it. it's a little smaller so it fits better so we're gonna cut this tape it up here and this is gonna be our cut line. It says it right here, drill, 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 drill. Those are your holes. And then this is where you're gonna cut it out. And then we'll get right back and show you how to cut it with the cutout tool. All right, we got everything ready to go. We're gonna drill the holes first, and then we're gonna go back and cut the lines.
Okay, we got all six drilled. Now we're gonna go to the cutout tool. Remember, your cut line is the outside. Clean out all your burrs, and you'll be good to go. We'll move on to the second part, which is putting the outlet in there, and let's get some sound in this baby. All right, we got the outlet to fit in there. It's all good to go. You're gonna get your gasket. Gasket goes on the inside, the thick 3M inside, this outside. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. It's self-explanatory. Put your bolts in there, make sure everything lines up. Get it all test fitted, put your flange on get it knocked on, and then we'll actually be able to go in here and clamp it, and then we'll be finished, and we're gonna fire it up and let you hear how it sounds. Once you got all your bolts torqued down, check your gasket in the back. Everything fits good. It's on here, no water intrusion. Go ahead and peel off all your extra tape. Got all your extra tape peeled off. And boy, we got a badass exhaust on the spark. This doesn't work on the right side. The step is in the way. Not enough room, there's an indention. Left side only, looks badass. So let's get it all finished up so we can hear this baby with the Evo exhaust so you can hear how the WJP Elite exhaust sounds on the Spark. But this Evo water box is not like the typical ones. It's more aggressive than a modded, more aggressive than the other ones that's out there by the competition. This one sounds wicked. Got your clamps on, we're all good to go. So let's fire this baby up. don't mean you can't have fun so you know where to come get the elite exhaust from here's the instructions always putting out that good product from wet jet performance glad you love it can't wait for you guys to get it and have fun out there on the water this season this has been cowboy b peace